Okay, so today I'm going to be showing you how I curl my hair in like the previous clips. Um, it doesn't take too much time and um, it is actually quite easy. So all you need for this type of method of curling your hair is obviously a brush to brush your hair before. Um, some gel spray or hairspray, it doesn't really matter which kind, it work, both work the same way. Uh, a comb. Any type of comb, don't really matter, just as long as it does the Right, so now that I've got my comb back, stupid thing, um, yeah, we need a comb, <laughs> uh, and we need just a curling tongue. So right, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to brush our hair, obviously, to get all the cuts out, and uh, yeah, um, by the way, if you wear hair extensions, then now's the time to put them in because it's probably best you put the, them in while you're curling your hair. Uh, like, I've put hair extensions in because obviously my hair is too short. So yeah, we're going to brush our hair. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to section our hair. Um, so this is when you get hair bubble, a clip or whatever you want to use to grip your hair back. And um, how I section it off is I I get just the all of the top half, so past my ears, and I tie it up. Let's get your ears out. Don't matter how much you hate your ears, get them out. And then obviously you're going to brush through again, just to get rid of any cuts you've just developed. This is the part that you turn your curlers on. These are Tresemme wave con uh, Tresemme wave ones. This is to make nice like these are basically designed to make waves, wavy hair. But these work uh, like a treat for this kind of hairstyle. Um, but it doesn't really matter what kind of curling tongs you should have. If you do it the same way, it should end up going the same way, hopefully. So now that these are nice and hot, mind not to burn yourself, uh, what we're going to do is we are going to take about this much of hair each time, or maybe a little bit more. Let's get a little bit more. So about this much of hair each time you curl. And what we're going to do is when we're on this side, right, so this is my right hand it looks like left no it don't it looks right <laughs> right so what we're going to do is we're going to wrap it round on the outside so um we are putting our hair under and over not over and under and we're going to leave it on for like about 10 seconds and this is the kind of curl you'll get as you can see it's not very like you know curly well it is curly but you know <laughs> and uh we're just going to do the same for all this side get about the same amount as you did last time and you do over and under over and under like that and hold it like this so that when it, the curls come off it doesn't like kind of tangle them up i've done that a few times like that and release and as you can see I've got that kind of curl Whee! so I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of this side right so now that I've curled the rest of the side you can obviously see the difference um, I basically did ex exactly the same all over and this is where you bring your comb and hairspray into action and what we're gonna do is we're just gonna spray the curls this is going to keep them in for longer and you know you know yeah uh, let it dry for a, a few seconds like you might think that your hair gets a little bit sticky or stiff um but as soon as like the day goes by and like you know your hair gets a little bit of fresh air or movement into it you won't really notice how sticky it is Right, so now that the um, curls have dried with hairspray, what we're going to do is we're going to take our comb on the thin side, if you've got one, so this bit, and we're going to just go from the roots and back comb it up 
on the outside so that it gives it a little bit more volume this what it this is what makes my curls look thick and just just back home and then back home the curls a little bit just to give them a little bit more of a natural and less golden sticky look and we'll just keep pushing it up right so we are on the next side and we basically do the same but the only difference with this side is we have to do it with the opposite hand and do it the same exact way this makes the curls look equal on each side so that you haven't got like some curls facing the same way it makes it makes your face look more like they're in the curls do you know what I mean yeah so we're just gonna do this same same like same way under and over not over and under not over and under so then we let go there we go nice lovely curl there oh I smell burn and I think I've accidentally burnt my hair a little bit too much <laughs> and then we're gonna do over and under over and under over and under leave it there for 10 seconds or so And there we go so I've done both sides now and I think this side looks a lot more thinner than this side because there's more hair on this side but we will sort that out at the end and we're going to do the same and just spray it and let it dry and then back comb it up back comb it up brush it a little bit if it looks a little bit cotty And there we have it we have the curls on each side and we basically do this all over the top so what you're going to do is you're going to section your hair off however way you want to section it it doesn't really matter what kind of way you section it but we're going to do exactly the same so I've done the rest of my hair and I've just left the two front bits just to show you what I usually do with these kind of bits of hair because these bits can be a little bit like, oh, I don't know what to do with them when I've done them. So what I usually do is I have them a little different every time I do my hair like this. I sometimes have them in the middle part in, like what I have now. I sometimes have it on the side. It depends how I feel on that day. I think this time I'm going to do it in the middle part in. So what I usually do is I just curl them like this. So I do it the same way, but a little bit less, like so they're not so springy. So free free wrap it around three times depends how long your hair is and let it go I don't usually leave it on for as long as well because I don't like these bits to be too curly so we'll do it the same this side one two about five seconds this time there we go so that they're like that and then we're going to do the same on the, the same side only as you can remember do it on the do it the opposite way but the same way so this time we're holding it in this hand and we're going to wrap it over and under this is that's four times because there's a little bit more hair on this side for some reason okay and then let go right so when you've curled both sides of your fringe by the way if you've got a full fringe probably leave the full fringe or I don't actually know how you'd do it with a full fringe because I've never, I've not had one since I was about three. So I've never actually had to do it. So I, I'm not sure how to do it. So yeah. So we're just going to do the hairspray again and spray it all over the top on both sides. And we're going to get our comb, which is under here. And we're going to, this is the most important place to back comb it um, you can leave it like this if you'd like if you'd like it like that but I usually tend to like the, the big bits the top bits a little bit more bigger so I'm going to just back comb it like so it also like separates your curls a little bit more making them more, more like natural less sticky and I back comb those bits too and brush over so that they don't look too like cotty do the same on this side 
And um, before you go anywhere, tip your head upside down and shake the curls a bit. So go like this and shake them about a little bit. And tip your head back upside down. Like that. It like, kind of just makes them a little bit more fluffy. Obviously, you don't have to do that if you don't want to, but I usually do that. And uh, there you have it. That's the end of the tutorial. So I hope um, the tutorial was alright with for you. Um, and I hope everything worked out. And I'll see you soon with another video.